guys, this is Inka. Today, I will be making some mento at home here in my kitchen. So I wanted to take you guys along with me on this journey. We grew up eating it a lot, but it's definitely a very, very typical breakfast food. It's super, super easy to make at home. So if you guys want to do this at home, I hope this video helps a little bit. It only uses around five ingredients, some sugar, some yeast. This one is active dry yeast, some warm water, some all purpose flour, and a little bit of oil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the sugar into the warm water. And we're just gonna give it a stir to make sure the sugar dissolves. You don't want it to be too cold either because then the yeast won't activate. I'm gonna go ahead and add our yeast in there. Give it 10 minutes. You should have like a very bubbly surface on top. This is a super important step. If you don't get that bubbly surface, you might want to redo this step. But now we're just gonna give it 10 minutes. You can see that it's super, super foamy. And that's great because that means our yeast has been activated and we can now combine it with our flour. As we're adding this, we want to keep mixing. It will feel very doughy, but that's what you want. Also, you want to add in a little bit of oil. It is a lot of flour. It will give you a lot of that resistance. I'm just gonna keep trying to combine these together. At this point, you should already see like a dough forming. This is what mine looks like now. You can go in there and use your hands. My grandpa used to do this, so this reminds me of him a lot. We're just going to keep on trying to make this form into a dough ball. Hand kneading this is totally doable, but it just takes a lot of time and a lot of arm strength. So if you don't want to do it by hand, I would suggest using your sand mixer, which I'm gonna do now. Put this in there. I'm gonna start it off on low speed. So it's been around five minutes. It feels and looks smoother already, but we're gonna keep going. So this is what our dough loaf looks like right now. Just making it into a smoother ball. Right now this looks like a giant mantle, a giant steamed bun, which is super cute. You wanna make sure that it is really, really smooth. And the reason we have to keep kneading it is so that the end product will have a better texture. So what I'm gonna do now is let the dough rest and then I'm covering it with a wet towel. I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes before we start rolling it out. So now that the five minutes are up, we are going to start rolling it. Slowly roll it out. You can see that it is baby smooth. I would imagine this is what a baby butt feels like. That is inappropriate. We are not gonna say that. Super, super smooth. And we're gonna try and roll it into a rectangular shape. Get a bowl of water with a pastry brush and we're going to lightly brush the water across the surface. The water is going to act like our glue. Now we're going to fold it like that into itself. Just like that. And then we're going to roll it out. This step is supposed to help it become even smoother. So I like to repeat it for at least four to five times. into a rectangular shape again, this thickness. And then the next thing to do from here is to tightly roll it up one more time, one last time, brush it with some water. And now we're gonna roll it out. It's tightly sealing, rolling that up like so. Huge steamed bun log, and you wanna make sure these ends are pinched tight. Now that we have our dough in a log shape, we are ready to cut it up. Once it's steamed, it's going to expand to almost twice its size, so you don't want to go too big on this. You can still see a little bit of that pinwheel shape, but it's like very well bound together, so it won't spring open again. Here are all my little dough buns. Grab some parchment paper or wax paper and just put it underneath so then they won't stick when you steam them later. What I've also done is actually put them into my steamer. I've put some lukewarm water in here, just enough for there to be a little more steam and we're gonna cover it like so. We're going to let it proof for 20 minutes and then be back to check it out. This is what they look like 20 minutes later. It doesn't look like they've grown by too much, but if you feel it a little bit, they definitely feel even softer now. I'm gonna swap out the warm water at the bottom with cold water. Water has been swapped. I'm gonna cover the lid now, and we are going to turn this to high heat. Once the water starts boiling, I'm gonna turn it down to medium and let it steam for another 15 minutes. 
All right, it has been 15 minutes and you can kind of hear it whistling in the background. Turn it off. We're not going to open it completely yet. We're gonna let some of the steam come out and I'm gonna let it cool for another four minutes maybe. This is pretty much our last step. After it cools a little, it will be safe for us to check on the steamed buns and take them out. I think we're ready. It is hot. <gasps> Here is one of our steamed buns, you guys. It's literally so, <gasps> It's hot, it's hot, it is hot. But this is what it looks like, yay! Oh, it smells so good! It's like so smooth, and because we sealed it tight, you don't see that pinwheel shape as much anymore. It's super smooth on top, and oh my goodness. Remember how my little buns were so small? Now they've definitely become a lot bigger. You guys, look at that. All of these little guys, my little babies. I'm not taking all of them out, so some of them can still stay warm. And it's a little hot right now, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. You can see those beautiful strands. And it just smells amazing. This really does just remind me of childhood. If you squeeze it down, get that like little bounce back, and that's what you want. This first bite is always the best the best kind of comfort food. Also the best things about these are that you can enjoy them in so many different ways. You can make them into a sandwich, you can deep fry them, slice them up and then toast it. That's what we do a lot. I really enjoy having it just like this as it is. Oh man. That is it for today. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I cannot wait to see y'all make this at home. See you guys next time.